And uh, I do want you to know I do love you guys so, so very much. I'm going to slam anybody out there. I, you know, it's funny. It's like people will post comments on my YouTube videos. And I'll go to try to respond to them. And it'll come up and say, comment failed. It does that to me all the time. It's, it's really annoying. I don't know why. I'll reload the page. I'll shut down my browser. I'll reboot my system. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if YouTube is flagging me personally. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. So I just thought I'd do a little video. I used to work 30 years I spent in field service. Senior uh, uh, customer service engineer. And uh, they used to track us all the time. You know, before smartphones, we, you know, in the beginning it was a pager. A pager and a telephone booth. And you had to uh, have change for that. If you couldn't use a customer's thing, you had to call in on a, on a uh, pay phone, which are pretty hard to find these days. You know, eventually, you know, then we had cell phones. <laughs> you know, eventually we ended up with a smartphone. It's exactly, the smartphone was the symbol. Um, exactly what you see when you go to Target or Home Depot, those handheld blocks. That was our first version of a smartphone. And it would theoretically keep track of us all the time. And we had all these features, blah, blah, blah. We could we could check inventories and we could um, feed back our calls through it and of course make phone calls and messaging and you know all that. So it's not like I don't know how to use a smartphone. The thing is is that you know now that I'm on disability and retired and growing vegetables <laughs> and living a more simple life I don't really have any desire to be tied to the internet 24-7. You know, I had to keep that phone on all the time. Even when I wasn't working, people would call me at night. They'd call me for call-outs. You know, I'd go out at 3 in the morning. I, If I was taking my kids to the skating rink, they would call me and say, well, you got to go take this call first, you know. My life is simple. I have a phone right here for the house on the wall. And if I'm sitting in this chair and you call this number and I'll answer. If you know my cell phone number, which is this flip phone that I've had for six or seven years, this one. It actually lasted. It's Rugby One. And uh, if you know this phone, uh, it's usually answers everywhere. Uh, if it's not, then I'm in a definite dead zone. I have to use AT&T because, uh, they're, you know, in the boonies here, they're really the best coverage for the area. I pay $45 a month. I have rollover minutes. And since I don't really talk a lot on it, I have a gazillion rollover minutes. <laughs> Unlimited texting, which I don't do a lot of either. Uh, you know, and part of me living my life is just to be, to streamline my expenses. To make that new car, you know, I lived for years not having <laughs> the little bits of cool stuff that's in that car. And uh, I had a GPS, I've had the GPS. I've had a GPS for, you know, a long time, maybe 10 years. And uh, I think got stolen. The car got broken into and I lost my Garmin and I had to get a Tom Tom. But I've had that for, you know, maybe eight. And, you know, I don't need to pay for a smartphone to give me directions. It's going to cost me more money. And it just means that people can communicate with me 24 7. I mean, when you leave a message for me, I eventually get back. A lot of times in the morning, I'm sitting here watching YouTube videos. 
you know. So, but I walk away from my computer and I'm not. You know, and so my cell phone for me is forty-five dollars a month. I got an electric bill, I got uh, a phone bill for the house, which is where my DSL is on. You know, I don't have a cable bill. I don't have a, I don't have a uh, a uh, satellite dish for TV. Uh, you know, I try to streamline my expenses. If I had a smartphone. That has all the bells and whistles on it. It's just to me is, you know, you know, it's cool to have one, but I don't really, I don't really want one. This this phone here sits in my shirt pocket. In my T-shirt, I have a short, you know. If I don't have it there, I I can clip it here. <laughs> Or it's in my shirt pocket for my dress shirts. You know, people's iPhones, they're huge. People stick them in their back pockets and they sit on them and they crack the screen. You know, it's... And people... I see people staring into their phones all the time. I don't stare into my phone. When, when I'm, if I'm really in a funky place, I might be paying Tetris on this phone, which I haven't played for years. I... Do puzzles with paper. You know, I have a puzzle book in the car, and when I'm when I'm waiting for something, I'm sitting there doing the puzzle. So, you know, the car I have the OnStar for three month trial. When it stops, you know, the only thing I I need to add on to that car is towing, because if it's no longer in my the insurance company I have now for my car, it doesn't have towing in it. So. You know, the OnStar has towing, but it's it's too much money. So, you know, when the OnStar is over, the trial is over, I'm going to probably have to pick, pick up, you know, AAA or something like that. That's all, that's all I need, you know. It's nice to be able to play my music through the radio, and it's nice to be able to answer phone calls through the radio. It is a kind of a nice convenience versus having, you know, a Bluetooth headset, you know, which is what I had before when I was working, is a Bluetooth. I actually had a Bluetooth headphone, but I didn't like it going to my work phone, so I ended up forwarding to it to this phone <laughs> and having my Bluetooth tied to this phone because it actually paired better on this phone than it paired on the uh, work phone. But you know, it's it's just the way it is. You know, I don't. You know, my daughter has, one of my daughters has an iPhone. We're, we're using her GPS to, to find uh, some place. You know, it was it was confusing because it would say a direction. And I'd look over and say, well, what did it just say? And, you know, it would say it so fast. It would be like, can you ask it to repeat? So, it's, you know, it's like, you know, I can look over the GPS screen and I can see an image. It's in the car, you know, it, and it's not being tracked around. It's, it's just, you know, I'm not looking for ways to increase my my monthly budget. I'm looking for ways to reducing it. You know, like, the, the nice thing about the Bluetooth that's built into the car is that everything is, is seamless. It works really nice. But the disadvantage is, is that OnStar doesn't work the way, the way that it's, it's uh, the way that it works. So... Um, you know, this, this thing that I got with the, uh, the iSimple, you know, it's a little quirky and eventually I'll figure out all the quirkies to it. It will probably interface better with a smartphone. I mean, if I see a good deal on a, um, prepaid that I can just load up with music, um, you know, I could do that. I could put that in the car, just load it up with music and have it not connected to anything. But you know, I don't, I don't really need to add a smartphone. I mean, it's just, I know people are out there. I just it seems like just about everybody has a smartphone. Not everybody, but you know, so many do. And it's, it's funny because I was talking with the, the, uh, the, the tech support for iSimple, because when I was talking with Crutchfield, which is a really excellent company, if you're looking for gear for your car, they have other stuff too, but. Uh, Crutchfield.com. I think I put a link in the video. 
to them. Um, the really good customer support and uh, tech support for you know doing installations in the car. Uh, but when they couldn't figure out my problem, they gave me the, the call-in number to go right to iSimple tech support, uh, which is usually only for dealers. And he's, I was telling him my he goes, oh yeah, I, 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 I wanted that rug beach for my phone. All I use is a flip phone too. I don't use a smartphone. You know, so, you know, it's not the end all or be all. I just assume that if you need to get a hold of me and I'm out on the road, you have my cell phone number. If you don't have my cell phone, then you're going to leave a message on that thing. If you don't have that number, which they're all listed, so except for my cell phone, you're going to send me an email. And if you don't have any of those, then I wouldn't know why you'd be calling me anyway. You know, that's, that's the line. You know, if I know you personally enough, you have my cell phone number. You call me and say, hey, John, I got this problem. If you have an idea, and I'd help you figure it out. I mean, even though I'm no longer working for Conoco, sometimes they'll call me up. The text will call me up and say, I got this problem. And I'll be sitting in the woods in my golf cart, and I'll be walking them through a troubleshooting. <laughs> and I'm doing it all in my head. And, you know, it's a very common thing. I mean, I can troubleshoot just about anything. But, uh, you know, part of being living off the grid or heading towards moving off the grid doesn't mean you have to still be connected to the world 100% all the time. You know, it is really refreshing not having it. You know, a lot of times this phone will be in my charger over here. Of course, I'll hear it ring. You know, but it's in the charger. And, uh... You know, I'm not going to go running it. If this phone here on the wall rings and I'm out in the kitchen or I'm out on the porch or I'm in the green room, I'm not running across the house to answer the phone. So if you don't leave a message, I'm not calling back. You know, and I'm kind of content with that. You know, they usually times when people call me in the car, it's usually one of my daughters. You know, and it's most likely my younger daughter, and then she wants to talk about something. And, you know, I'm driving the car, I'm doing this, and this drives me crazy. So, having it feed through the car is really quite nice. And the alternative is just to have a Bluetooth headset. But, you know, I kind of really like the way it works through the car. So, I appreciate all the words of wisdom out there about using smartphones to solve my problem, but, you know, and I know everybody, a lot of people will track their, their systems, their off-grid systems through their smartphones so they can see what, they could be having a, a you know, a culotta at Dunkin' Donuts and they can check on their off-grid system and see what is going on. I mean, that's great. And, you know, I don't know if I'll reach that point, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I use technology a lot. I use computers and I play with computers and I play with a lot of different aspects of electronics and electrical stuff. But being separated from the world is a really beautiful thing. You know, try just powering down your, try 12 or 12 hours a day, power off your smartphone and just, you know, power down. People answer the phone while they're eating dinner. And they think nothing of it. You're sitting there with somebody and they're talking on their phone. Or they're answering an email. Their phone goes beep, 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 beep. And they're looking at their phone and they're answering something on Tweet or, you know, all these things and Facebook and, you know, or having a meal. It's just, leave it alone. Oh, I got to answer this. Why? <laughs> you know? Why? You know, the great thing is to watch the X-Files because you see the progression of technology to the point where actually they never really get to a smartphone because the series ended uh, before smartphones really got going. Really. But, you know, you see the progression of technology from having to use a payphone to pagers to, you know, the... Uh, um, you know, cell phone. It's just, uh, 
It's just interesting. So disconnect. You know, disconnect. Turn the phone off at night. You know, it hits 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, or you're heading towards that bed, then power down that phone. <laughs> Let the chickens wake you up in the morning and not your cell phone. Yeah, I know, you got a cluck, 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 uh, uh, roosters alarm clock, but hey, you know what? Turn it off for a little while. Enjoy being disconnected. And just wish to say peace with enough for all.